I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. something important waiting for me there. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God. <laughs> you think you can just make up stuff, play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? <laughs> you missed your deadline! Hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here. Now Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Now I'm gonna kill you. This 
Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old generator. I want a shot of you. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying it. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance to get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this Just a Not couple a more. To track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Yuppies. Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax. Let's see who has the last John. laugh. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from Do the bookstore. Do me a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the... Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> the Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Doc. Bye, Mr. Wake. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I'm okay. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Hmm. 
an old generator had been connected to the power cable. The island sure had once been the that site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! No! What the hell? station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Damn. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. What the hell was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water.
The gas station was closer now, its light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Belly Burster is the best with no coat. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, right. the sane world reasserted right. itself. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. I can feel the presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Preview. Honey, I'm home. Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Honey, it's a power outage. Hi. I I've got the flashlight. You okay? Okay, I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. Don't worry, we'll just break out the candles. Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then.
Sarah, uh, Sheriff Brayer is waiting for you. She's Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the sure. desk. The Don't battery was dead. It's charged time. now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After Mr. you did, the cops are going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching hey, you. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The, light the early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently... Are you... What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. Uh, wait She's here. A very nice girl. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake, I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the what you were saying in the car? The just listen to yourself. What, Charlie. you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction... <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. <laughs> Everybody... I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold <laughs> down the fort. I'll be with your spirits every step of the way, Al. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Something Please had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Animals. 
Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. See them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on it. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. He was headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was coincidence. He was the kidnapper. <laughs>
these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. <laughs> yeah, you <sighs> can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun! No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it! Scare him off! Get some light on those bastards! That'll keep them off us! Just a little longer! I almost got it! Okay, it's open. Move it or lose it! Stop fighting me! Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Program, Wake. He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move.
Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What, am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. It's not done. I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, get me? Yes, yes, I, I get you. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. <laughs> So glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Hey, Al. I'm... I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Pre Help you folks. Name's Randolph. 
I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The Scratching Hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by C. Welcome to... I asked around, to... and she's that crazy bad Oh dear. Mr. What, Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have yeah, my manuscript? Anyway, she oh. knew both Jagger and Zane oh, yes. before they both died, yes. and she had some kind of Please, a breakdown. Please, come in. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Oh, you're gonna get it now. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake. Come on. Make it easy.
This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. distance was part of the local radio station. Main seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give you directions to the canal. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. It took me a moment to recognize the flashback grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm going to see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh. I'll get you, yeah, <gasps> even if it kills me. You hear me? You hear me, H.P. Lovecraft? I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book The Sudden Stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. <laughs>
Hello? I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over every demon to the As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Did you call me? Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man would clutch at a straw, little by little, without realizing it. I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real but it matched a textbook case of insanity.
I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! I had to get to Mirror Peak. to find a way to avoid electrocution. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk.
dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Ion shift may cause cancer. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Side of riding is a struggle. I feel it. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Birds. have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that.
see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! The boss didn't know who he was messing with. I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. We don't have a wife. Previous. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. 
I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms of my now. hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Scary bad. Yeah, beds. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. La, 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 You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, that My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Or Crazy or not, well, the, the Andersons made more we sense. Something is wrong. You know, I'm not myself. Gotcha. It's hard to think. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Here's a friendly poke from me, old witch. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her well, hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. 
He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to sweat! Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. It's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look out!
lost my gun in the crash. Dad, you're okay. Barry was nowhere to be Jeez, seen. it's good to hear your voice. I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Dad, what a drop. Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. You're the player, Barry. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from find your way around you the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's a Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! I've run through every possible course <gasps> in my head. I'm sorry. The farm was still a good 
good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot! Al! We have to fight them off! I can tell them from the fireworks from here!
here has something to say. Uh, what's up now? Ooh, I know. Wow. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these the guys? The Viking boat looked imposing. Almost like a battering ram. And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Geezers had quite a production going on. Ooh, you know what, Al? If we make it for this, we'll start representing them. Yep, we'll sell the stuff to buy, get the Audi show going, release a new single. Be careful, Al! See the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far enough. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home, then. coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be! Drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth. 
a suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. Alice? I had a chance to Alice. find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Jagger had Alice, and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice? behind you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Previous All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, ow. Ow, this is not good. That about sums it up. Oh, I am never drinking again. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, well, Al, but we're stuck here. They're not yeah, gonna... Even interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there? Brett Easton Ellis, huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> oh my god! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh man, we're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Here are your things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? 
They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old Mission power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No! We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me, though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the roof. Ah, oh, man. That's smart. I'll go. Good job, I'll open the gate okay. for you once I'm close. You stay here in the light and cover me. Okay? Watch my back, Wade. Let's go, Wake. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry.
Okay, Sheriff. I got the keys. Keep shooting! The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. They're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. <clears throat> I don't see Barry. Look, Wake, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Uh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Let's take a break. Omega 3 fatty acids are good for your heart. There's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Guess that one saw the light, huh? You didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. The Bright Falls General vampires. Store is now my favorite the place in just the entire the parking world. Lot and up the hill. See this Come headlamp? On. It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. I wish I could say that. Hey, I want a headlamp.
It was close, but I had to find a way across. the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area. Signal it's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? Old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's drained of all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside.
could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. This way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. This way. We need to go. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. And then Tom started writing and and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. Which looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. He was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. No, oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my name, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light. The darkness stays with you. You sustain. At least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Hmm.
Baker! Zara! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas? Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Ah, please be careful. I'll take good care of Barry, wait. You just look after yourself. You gotta be kidding me. Down, boy.
ridiculously outnumbered. The search might go even worse. We're safe here. I have looked after the well-lit room for many, many years now. There is no shadow in the well-lit room. The power is fail-safe, and all the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. Previously, I had a hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Ugh. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Bills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set.
a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer.
room. I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. I will never give her to you.
turn back now. out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear of the dark. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. Torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're you're my muse. I mean, who are you? What have you done with my Alice? Alan? What are you doing? Put the light back on. What are you doing, Alan? Stop! Put the light back on! It wasn't. Now you will never get her back. I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. 
There's a long journey through the night back into the light. No! 